Yeah, okay, so Ryoko, that's, I think you've got the correct action, but looks to me like you might be rushing it a little bit. And maybe your back inside edge is a little uh, too shallow because you rush that edge. If we start to over rotate, we can't hold the edge and we've got to get onto the next thing. So try not to over rotate so that you can get a, uh, the same uh, rhythm on these two edges. Ba, ba, da. Approximately the same rhythm, I think, is a very beautiful way to do your sal cow. So, so try not to like long, short. No. Uh, yeah, you can do it that way. You can still do the jump that way, but it's going to fit into your music, and it's going to be an easier technique if you have some kind of balance. I, I think in the edges leading into the jump. Okay, I will try. Try that, please. Hmm. Yeah, I think you got the right act, and I think it's just comparing with what timing I would use and what I'm seeing you do, it's, it's a little rush. It might be a little bit difficult, too swingy, and, and like you don't want to rotate quickly into the jump. You just want to have a nice, consistent rotation feeling in, in, through that jump. Nothing rushing at all, right? Ba, ba, da. But, uh, for the single at least. Yeah. Ba, ba, da, da. Yeah, okay. You know, what, what else can you do to sneak up on your double jump uh, to make your single better so that your double will be easier when you do eventually get to it? Uh, I think is the, the free leg should also climb as it comes around. So it doesn't just make a rond de jambe, although you can do that for a single, but for a double, that rond de jambe is gonna be climbing rond de jambe. So it's, the free, it's low and it comes up. See how this is gonna come up. And notice that that up is not a, a knee action. It's a hip action. So yeah, this is a hip action. This, this climbing free leg, climbing. The free leg should be very, very relaxed and just make a nice rond de jump. Now you're doing something very strange. See, you're not used to my method totally, so it's, it's turning into some kind of spinny, different kind of thing. Um, try to feel your back inside edge uh, if you can. So, duh, feel the glide on the back inside edge. Let it glide and cover distance. Yeah, so forward, outside, so that three turn is nice and balanced. The free leg can be coming around, but you're still gonna glide on the back inside. Glide on the forward, outside, glide on the back inside yeah that's right that's right yeah that's i think that's just i think that's very very good technique on this on your single that feels pretty good right actually yes stay on the back inside edge yeah rather than start yeah. playing yeah, yeah, yeah. okay let me try one more time covering distance gliding along on a big circle Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, why Ryoko loses her balance on the end of the takeoff? I think I don't feel like you're just totally on balance on the landing. There's something. What is it going on? 
Are you pulling your foot around? Does it slip out on the takeoff? I, Can you make sure I you... transfer my body weight too faster. Like I should stay on the left back or the inside edge until I spring. Ah. I, I'm not strong enough to wait. Ah. So I'll try. Yeah, this method does require a little bit of endurance. When you're staying down in your knees and the ankles in that athletic position going into your jumps, uh, it requires a strength, a little bit of strength, that strength to sustain that. That's good, right? And it went up high. Actually, this uh, centrical form are with the, the weight of the blade and the boot really makes me spinny, swingy. Yes. So I have to stay. This is what it really helps you with your salkao rotation. It's not only the, the turning momentum into the jump, and it's not only the deep edges, but it's also that free leg also has some turning momentum to it, yes. Actually, this exercise... So in fact, most of the turning momentum here goes into the free leg, and then you wind into your backspin. Actually, the exercise you introduced in your seminar, this really helps, like... Ah. Thank <laughs> you.